The day they banned French fries from the English language and changed French fries to freedom fries on the menu of the U.S. Congress, or the censored speech of George W. Bush written by fired speechwriter. My fellow Americans, I got this E-Day fix. No more tricks, yes siree Bob. Saddam's corn on the cob. I'm full of joie de vivre. Got this fever. Yippee-i-o-kaye. Having an auto da fe. It's a fait accompli, yes siree. Congress gave me carte blanche down on the ranch. And I ain't blinking, what you thinking? Think it's deja vu? I'm gonna do what Pop couldn't do. Give Saddam a coup de grace, kiss my sunset. <laughs> you see, I got this menage a trois with Tony Blair and Jack Straw, British Foreign Secretary, hee-haw. Oh, say, can you see, even flee my piece, the resistance, Arab filet mignon, that's my opinion. Kiss my derriere, I don't care. Wearing my green beret, hey, 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 saying bon voyage to your moustache. Better than cold cash. This is huge, say la deluge. I ain't weak. Vivre l'Amérique. Meditation on the poet's death, stink of garlic on his breath. Or was it? Perhaps it was the stink of death. The stink of garlic on the poet's breath, was it the stink of garlic or the stink of death? Strange, I smelled the foul odor and I do not have a good sense of smell. No one mentioned it. Maybe they were being polite, but I smelled garlic. Garlic, garlic, yes, the poet reeked of it. It was in the basement of the underground poets. But no one smelled your breath. None were mentioned it. You died two weeks later. It must have been the stink of death. Once someone smelled garlic or death on my breath. Norman in Halifax in 1972 told me, only a friend can tell you this. He told me to suck on holes, cough drops, goggle with Listerine, speak to my dentist. But if it was death, there would be no remedy. Perhaps I was about to die, but didn't. Perhaps a stroke of luck had prevented it. An accident on the ferry back from Halifax. Perhaps I was carrying death deep within me and reeked of it. Perhaps the foul odor of Norman's delicate nostril smelled it. My dentist said I had no stink in my mouth. Mother said I had no stink in my mouth, but mother loved me. She would never tell me. After mother died, a week after mother died in 2005, brother said to me, do you remember Norman 33 years ago? Said you reeked of garlic? Well, you do. You reek. Suck on halls. Goggle with Listerine. No, it's beyond that. Speak to your dentist. Only a brother or a friend can tell you this. <laughs> I did speak to my dentist, but he said I had no stink in my mouth. I couldn't ask my mother. She had died. I couldn't ask my wife. She loved me and she would lie. Perhaps brother was smelling the foul odor of mother's death. Perhaps mother had entered the abysmal zone and brother's delicate nostril smelled the stink of garlic on my breath. Perhaps it was the stink of death. Perhaps when you enter the dead zone, where no calls can go in or out, perhaps when you go beyond the dead zone, beyond to the abysmal zone, where you cannot go back and co go no further, the stink of garlic wafts from the earth, or wa from what was the earth, from the abysmal zone. Perhaps when death extends his cloak, folds it around your shoulder, touches your neck with his finger, you reek, reek with the stink of garlic. <laughs>